I have to be honest with you both. I really enjoy this film a lot. You were really funny in this movie, along with Paul Rudd. So I assume this is the first time you guys have worked, you did this film together? Yes, yes. I'd never worked with Paul before, but uh, David's, David's um, you know, spark of uh, inspiration was to, to couple us together for the coupling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, part of, part of the fun of this movie was kind of uh, the anti-casting of it, putting two people that would have no business being in a movie together and putting them in a movie together and having an actor that's so comedically well-versed like Paul play something that has a little bit more of a dramatic depth or, or an actor like Emil that is mostly known for darker, more dramatic performances and find the, the humor and in, 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 uh, in comedy in him. I know that this is a remake from an Icelandic film called Either Way. Um, what made you want to make this film, like take this story and do a remake of the American version? Well, when I saw the Icelandic film, I, I really was just struck by the, the deceptively simple quality of no logistics, two actors on a road, a landscape, uh, an environment unleashed on each other, and, and, and I found the, the possibility of a great character piece really attractive. So I, I really I spent a lot of great efforts to transplant it to, um, to Texas yeah. and to put a personal signature on these two characters, um, but, but, but keep the same, the common sense of, um, of logistical simplicity to the movie, where it's literally, it's, it's a, uh, our, our cinematographer Tim Orr um, uh, unleashing on on the environment here, and then the talents of Emil and Paul in front of the camera to um, to, to really bring something special and intimate. And I think a, a sense of character and story that the audience is going to really identify with and want to take the journey with. And Emil, did you get a chance to spend a lot of time before the the shooting of this film in Texas and, and get to know the people living in those areas. Um, I a, a, a little bit of time. I wouldn't say it was you know no more than four or five months. No, I'm just kidding. That's a long. No, 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 wasn't, was wasn't, long. no, no, it wasn't that long. It wasn't that long. <laughs> but it was there was a good amount of time of to to research and to to kind of get ready, but not 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 an overly long amount of time what, in the length. What are some of the challenges that you uh, had to endure? Before and during the making of this film, that you did, that David didn't know. Um, well, I think you know it was it was. Uh, I found out about Taco Bell. Yeah, there. Well, there ended up being a very strange eating habits that I had, where I don't know what happened, but I started to eat lots of fast food oh. uh, around the time of shooting, and I gained a lot of weight. Yeah. Which I thought you did that for the role, right? Well, I can't. I can't remember if I did it for the role or not. Did yeah, I? I think you did it because you like Taco Bell. Yeah, I think I did it because I like Taco Bell Chalupa? and. Own it, dude. You gotta own it. Yeah, and I, I really like Taco Bell, so I gained a lot of weight, and then and then uh, and then at a certain point. Did you get those new flavored shells, like the Cool Ranch shell? I uh, yeah, I would, no, I didn't get I Cool Ranch. I had the nacho cheese shell with Doritos. Sweet. It was the yeah. Dorito shell at the Taco Bell. It was so good. Mm. Logan was like, "Are you sure?" And I was like, "Do it. Oh. Do it." <laughs> And did you go fishing and spend some quality time with Paul to develop that chemistry between the? Um, no, 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 no fishing. Uh, you know, we're we're not the we tr we weren't really doing too much of the hunting thing, um, but uh, but we definitely s spent some quality time together. Had some great conversations. There was a cabin actually where we stayed in together, full of mouse droppings, uh, but it was mostly a nice cabin. And um, mostly, mousely. Oh, mousely. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> were you scared? Uh, only of the haunt of virus. You're pretty sensitive, though, to viruses and rodents. More uh, so than you'd think. If you see into the wild, you like think of him as this like kind of outdoorsman, man's man yeah, type of guy. No, yeah. not at all. He's a wimp. He seems very comfortable in no, this role. No, he'd be so yeah. easy to beat up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd have to tie me up though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's sensitive. You say anything that can be perceived as negative, he bursts into tears. Yeah. Which is, you know, I respect that on some level. Yeah, I mean, it, it's... You know, it's really accessible as an actor. If yes, you're a exactly, exactly. Yeah. Good you to have know. to have everything right at the surface. Good to know. So now, what's next for you both? Uh, I got a movie. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to uh, premiere my new movie, Joe, in, uh, at the Venice Film Festival next oh. month. And I'm so excited about oh. um, kind of tag-teaming a, a, a great release and run with this film with, uh, with a new one, so... Uh, you know, and then I, I started new, shooting a new film in the fall. I worked on a film called Lone Survivor, uh, which is a film about a Navy SEAL operation in 2005 in Afghanistan. Uh -huh. And that's coming out in um, December. Wow, sounds really good. These two both. Thank you so much for talking to us, and good luck to everything you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good talking to you. Likewise.